Hi there. Hi there. We're starting back, back here, again. Here. Uh, let's see. Okay. We're, okay. We're, back, We're with back with Star the... Saga. Star Saga. So. So. Got the heroes, got the heroes here the heroes. in front of me. And uh, Abomination or Aberration. Uh, we also got uh, the other mutated people. Probably look paint the eyes this time. Red color. I think I'm done with these, but uh, maybe. Scheme. Uh, I'll turn down light here and uh, bright. Yeah, maybe a little red in, in mouth and such. You got open mouths. Let's do that. Put some red color in there. I got this one called Clear Red. Put a glare in there. Clear Red. Let's give it a go. Let's put some water. Where's the water? Oh, there. On that palette here, we'll drop some. I I need my straw. Put a big drop there. A drop there. All right. Really need to get a little shakers. Ah, very, let's get these guys out of the way, it's very, right up, take a tail here, clean off the tip, oh, Get anything out of it? Nope. A little bit. We'll use the old. Use what's in the, the nozzle trick. We're not going to use a whole lot. Oh, we need a detail brush. Something with a little bit more point on it. This one's not too detailed. And this one here is a little probably a little too much too. Now, okay. So we'll go with an even smaller one. This is probably the smallest we got for fine details. I don't know, this one's probably even smaller. It just has a longer, longer tip. I like shorter tips myself. This particular tip has like a little curl on the end though. I just gotta remember careful with that. Okay. 
is not as good as I would want it. But it's very bright on your screen. Maybe I should turn down the brightness on the computer. information on his card. Come on, minions. Uh, there we go. Minions. All right, sentry go. Okay, these are psychic cards. Oh, there's the Dominion. More deployable equipment. More oh, okay. defense. Security guards. Okay. Interesting. Dominions can do placements also. One thing I noticed is that these characters lab technicians have gold in there uh, there's a little bit of red in there too these characters have some purplish around their 
and some uh, other colors there. Security guards, they're all pretty much all black. And plague victims have green pants and uh, black hair. They don't show ones with the uh, plates on their heads. Well, most of that armor that they all have is kind of silvery or whitish in color. Okay, I guess I didn't really need all that much red to begin with. Let's grab some white. I think I'll need more red. Pearl white. Get them some pearly whites. Danny, here's my computer. Going full bore. Highly annoying. today we'll also do fair highlight White, white, but it will be dirty white. Actually, it looks kind of pinkish now that I look at it. on primer, medium, and glaze medium, wow, I don't have any white. I'm sure this will look whitish enough. Well, I see the pink movement. I don't need a lot of it. So I'm going to use the old nozzle, bottom of the nozzle technique. 
Okay. I really don't want to lose the um, gaps in the teeth. So you want to brush against the grain instead of with the grain so you can see the gaps in the teeth. Since this is very light in color, I can use this to highlight I can use it to highlight the uh, thorns also, the thorny things. You just want to do the tips or whatever is raised on it. I am going to primarily brush against the grain of the spikes so that you keep those crevices, those little lines that are going up the spikes still apparent and dark. Getting those edges are really important too. On the back carapace, you want to just catch the edges to highlight and the tops of the thorns. The mid back has those big thorns on there and near the shoulders there's thorns. But the carapace itself, those little half moon um, edges, you, you just want to, you don't want to hit the whole carapace, you just want to hit the very edge of it. Try not to let your brush dry out. Make sure uh, the paint that you have set aside is still wet or has water. Dip your brush in water frequently. And then uh, let the water, blot the water out of the brush so you don't have too much water, as long as it's moist and wet.
as you can see I did a light coat so now I'm hitting it again just to lighten it up even more It's always easier to add paint than it is to put too much and then try to figure out a way to fix it. I almost forgot to do the hands and feet with some white white highlights here. I just realized that I have been cross handing over the camera in front of you guys with my arm. So I'm going to rearrange the palette so that when I reach for the paint it's not crossing in front of the camera. A little late, but uh, better late than never, right? I'm doing the final touch up here, uh, whatever I didn't catch earlier or missed, just giving it a final hit here and there.
looks like I'm with a nail here. That'll do it. I don't want to get too overly aggressive. Oops. Like that. I've got white all over. I got to try to take it away. There we go. Oh, he got his eyes. That's right. Huh? Well, I tend to go for greens of the bright white. So I guess we'll get start with a kind of whitish color. Some red out. The white will help any color that I put on there uh, stand out and have a glow, more of a glowing effect. So. Let's do the eyes on these guys. Get a little white in there. Later I'll add some green. All right, looks a little closed. Let's see, some of these have uh, are a little grayish right in here. Hmm. And this one, this one seems to have a little white coat. Get it in there. Get it to look whitish.
Don't really know what they have around their wrists. Looks like something metallic, probably metal bracelets. It really doesn't show in the picture very much. Or at all. Since her armor is kind of metallic or sci-fi-ish, um, it's going to become grayish at some point. I'm going to give it a white undercoat to bring out the gray so it won't be so dark when I paint a gray over it. I'm using a very wet brush which means that the white will spread out quite a bit all over the miniature in those areas. That's okay. You want some areas to be dark and some other areas to be light. Usually the stuff that's on top you want to be light and the stuff that's on bottom to be dark. Uh, let's see what the rule book says here. Let's see if I can find some ideas in there. They have quite a few of the pictures of the miniatures painted. Okay, some of them are. Unfortunately, they have the weird lighting going on. So it's difficult to see what the actual colors they used. They have quite a few pictures of the miniatures. Uh, nothing I can use there, though. Oh, there's that guy. That's the one I you can see on there. Alright. Yeah, for the bad guys, they use a lot of weird lighting. They use bright green for the pants on the plague victims, which I am painting right now. That's all right. All right. Let's see, did I get everybody? Nope, not everybody. This guy has a helmet on. I have two of these guys that have a helmet.
There are like cracks in his helmet, so it's not entirely exposed. Uh, let me take my glasses off, maybe I can see better without them. I'm not sure. See, there seems to have a crack right there. See where it's dark? There seems to be like a crack there in the helmet. Where is either his brains or his hairs showing? Set the crack there. This helmet seems to have a silver color. Perhaps maybe just a metallic cover. Alright, let's see. Should we go green? Jade green. I got this. Verde owl green. Might be a little too bright. I think or a leaf green. I think the leaf green would be better. That is dry it up. Is it going to come out? Yay, it's coming out. All right. Don't need more than that, I think. All right, let's put that there. Let's check out this bow green. Let's see if how that comes out. Ooh. It's almost like a blue-green. Don't know why they call it foul. Definitely a blue-green. I think I'll go with the leaf-green. And maybe do the foul-green as highlights. too much. I have it a little thicker going on here.
little jobber might be a little easier. Alright, there, there we go. Let's take it off and put another one on there. A little too thin, too much water. All right, just leave a thin coat, then come back, hit it again, uh, give it another layer. Wasn't thin at all. You have to be aware of what you already painted and make sure you don't get your brush in there and paint over a color you don't want to. Okay. Gonna start for that one. Not exactly sure why these guys have green. None of the other characters have green on them.
Not sure what I'm gonna paint those bag things these guys are carrying. I'm gonna get way back in there. Oh, like I said, I wasn't being aware. I shouldn't have painted something, but I did it anyway. I painted his arm green, part of his arm. I'm gonna see if I can get it off. Gonna try to wet it and get it to the paper towel, maybe to soak up the paint. Well, that did pretty good. Gonna try to get in there with a paper towel and the end of the brush try to soak it up get the paint in there there you go yeah nope I didn't do too much good of a job it's one of those areas it's hard to get to I may have to touch it up later I'm not too worried about it I think that's it for this guy. One left. A little water on it and let it soak it up. Okay. It's going on a little thick now. <laughs> when you got a lot of them some people see it as a chore not as something that you want to do That's where, if we got a lot of them, it's really hard for Warhammer 40k people. You got a lot of miniatures to paint. To get them on the table to play. Of course, you don't have to paint them if you're just playing a game with friends. But if you go to some kind of tournament, they have to be painted with at least three colors. At least that's what they used to be. They may be down to two, but I'm pretty sure it's three colors. All right, this was pretty easy. Now I can go back and touch up those other ones. Okay. Uh, I think this was the first one here. You do want some variation in pants colors. You don't want it to be all one solid color. Because that's not how clothes, if you want clothes to look realistic, 
That's what makes excellent painting look good with different shades of color all around in it. Alright. Well, that's now it's that hard spot to reach in and get to. I think I painted his arm. I just want to get to the top of his pants right there. Need to try not to shake so much. I'm trying to get the top of his pants where the black is showing through, but well, maybe his pants are have black interior somewhere. I adjusted the camera from uh, maybe just a little here. Uh, let me, oops. Going for that hard spot. Underside isn't that important, but I like to tag it a little with the brush. Hopefully this miniature is the drier one. Let's start with the top of his knee first. Video is really dark. Maybe I should brighten it up a little.
happy with that. Using strokes in the direction of the the pants, up and down, not across. Forgot about that. One of those techniques that they like to impress on people. That way, if your brush strokes come through, they'll be in the right direction or the texture of the pants or clothing. But of course, near the bottom, you have to circularize it because it's just too hard to get the edges there. And get good paint, good coverage. All right. We got all the pants. Okay, here are the two paints I was talking about. Here. Okay. Here's the green I was using, and here's the other green I am thinking of using for highlights. All right, so I'm going to do, while well, those are drawing up, I'm going to do their armor, which is going to be a steel color, metallic color. Uh, I think I have something called... Is it uh, stone gray? No, open it. Black and steel. Though it doesn't really look like steel. Certain parts look like steel. We can do the bolts on their chest now and their backs and other parts, huh? With stone gray, maybe? Strip it out. Right. What black and steel looks like. And that should have a metallic texture to it. This down away from me. did I do first? Oh, I did this. These guys first, didn't I? There is... Some tacky stuff here. I got a different kind of uh, model holder. This one here. Now we can hold it without. That's not. 
tacky stuff underneath too. Huh? Yeah. Let's really water it down here. with it. Sheesh, I should have used some of that green for his eyes, huh? I didn't think about it. And here we have a chance to clean up some of the stuff that we might have made a mistake with with this gray.
going along the sides here and across the top of the chest here and leaving the middle kind of like it whitish because yeah, kind of looks like a shirt not armor though then down below here looks more armor kind of grayish all right now i can do the bracelets too can't see in there it's too dark just can't reach hmm this guy definitely has armor on front instead of a shirt Maybe his shirt has become armor. Gonna get the bracelet now. That way I don't forget later. This pose is a lot easier to paint, that's for sure. Oops, I'm going off camera here. Okay. Do the helmet. So groups are a lot easier to paint than individual characters because individual characters may not have similar colors though you might want to paint them with similar colors to make it easier on yourself.
but different colors individualizes them. The neat thing about this holder is you can use it to stabilize your mini. Oh, I almost forgot the bracelets. I don't know, black bracelets might not have been a bad idea, huh? Now I'm going to paint the metal pieces on the short ones that are sitting down. They're metallic in color. I'll use that steel color. Oh, that steel color already dried up. I don't need very much, so. There's still a little bit that didn't dry completely. Okay, since I need to be very steady here, I'm going to be able to grab it as easily. Okay, right on the front here, there are some bolts that have some steel color. Okay. It's like there only seems to be just two. There's four of them. One in the middle here and one down there. This paint might not be shiny enough. It's too dark. It needs a more silver color. Let's leave them on here and see what we can do. See if I have some silver color in my box. Black and steel. Didn't work. Let's see what we got. Looking for silver. Hi-ho, silver! Let's see where we got it. Still gray. I had all my metallics up here. And the things are real. Old bronze. 
That might be good. Oh no, it's not steel. So hard to read down there. There we go. Hardened steel. Not much in there. Not much in there at all. It's still a little wet though. At least it shines. It is shiny. Let's see if it's shiny enough. There's one here, one there, one down here, one in the middle down. Yeah, this doesn't, doesn't really make a difference. There's one here and uh, here. Uh, there's definitely a lot more than what's shown in the picture. I'm going to put some shiny stuff on his spikes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. I was going to put some... shiny stuff on his... bracelets. One thing I noticed with metallics, they don't like to be watered down very much. There's a tendency to disperse the metallic pieces in there. All right. Have to grab them by the head. bracelets before I forget.
Hmm. Sure looks like I didn't get enough gray in there. No. Oh. Looks good with black and steel. shake too much. put them back on oh before I put them on uh, there's some spots here underneath that I have little rigs of steel yeah that should be good these other guys don't have any do the bracelet let's uh, at least There's some white showing through. I got carried away with the white. I'm gonna use some of that black and steel on the helmets.
paint that's shiny on there looks to like white, but I think fooling me into thinking that I need to add more paint. It's just reflectiveness coming through. Pretty good. I think that'll do it for tonight. Catch you next time. Be nice to each other. And uh, let's try to finish this up. We got all those, uh, these guys, the heroes to paint. Oh, and the bad guys. The, the bad, the, the other bosses. Okay. Can you see that? Now? It's kind of hard. They're black. So we'll see. Next time we'll do those. I think we're done with these. I'll just add a little the highlights to the green pants. That's about it. I mean, I even they look correct just the way they are. Got a little black showing through, little shades of green. It looks like pants are worn out or dirty. So that that may be just good enough. All right. Let's see. See you later.